From the uh, Shangulowe mine in the uh, uh, Katanga copper crest of the Conga, a mine famous for some lovely uh, sort of a grey blue green barats in the late 1990s. Um, these are slightly different in color, they, they look brighter and, and maybe a little bit more greenishness to them. Interesting association here. Now, on a lot of these, I find a matrix of a pseudo malachite on some malachite as well. One would suspect that the color is caused by uh, the, the, the greenish coloration of the barite crystals, which you see perched across here, would be caused by minor inclusions of malachite. Could also be a, a pseudo malachite, of course. Now, uh, growing on this particular one, which has been quite rare from this deposit, are tiny chrysocolla crystals. Other associations I've found on this material typical would be heterogenite, which would be the black material. Why I say heterogenite versus girthite is you don't have the oxidation you typically find on the girthite, so the yellow, black, and browns. Um, also, at times I found minor, um, what appears to be little pyramids of gem libethanite crystals sitting across them. But this I only see under magnification, so please have a look at my description. All the way from the Shangulowe mine in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent. Quite an impressive little guy. Um, with the, the lovely contrast of the blue and the green on this pretty drab matrix, which is almost like a compacted clay. Matrix is not much to look at. From this deposit. Ah, oh, there's a bit of a dendritic formation across there. Just look at that, but nothing really to look at. But there, this is quite appealing. Look at that, it's nice crystallization happening there.